Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. Hey guys, Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So I'm going to show you real quick how to install the Western Digital Black PCIe Gen 3 by 4 NVMe SSD. So you might see down here, there is an M.2 socket and another M.2 socket. Let me zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. Again, there's one right here and one dot here. If you'll notice, there's a two right here, socket three, the number two, and then over here, there's socket one. Now, it says over here number two because there's actually two M.2's socket threes. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and no matter how much I zoom out, you're not going to be able to see it because it's actually underneath this video card. Now, it may be different on your particular motherboard, but on the EVGA Z270 FTW K board, it's underneath here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that, and because of the case, it's a little bit different the way I need to remove it. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip over that real quick. Okay, so I've unscrewed the video card, and thankfully, because I have the EVGA power link adapter, the way to remove these PCIe cables is super simple. Just pull this out, and that's it. The, the uh, adapter's out. So now I'm going to go ahead and take out the video card. Okay, now the M.2 that I was talking about is right... right here. You'll see that says socket 3 by 1. Okay, so in order to install this guy, it's super simple. So you'll see there's a little cutout right here, a little notch, and there's a notch right here. So you're going to need a precision screwdriver to take out this screw. I magnetized mine Because this screw is what's going to hold the uh, the card in there, so magnetize so it stays on there when I remove it. So now just slide the card in there and push in a little tiny bit. That's it. The card's in there. All we need to do is screw the card in. Just push it in. And that's it. You've just installed an M.2 SSD. Super simple. Now, of course, we just need to install the OS. And I'm going to make another video just to show you guys how to install Windows 10 on the Western Digital Black PCIe Gen 3 X4 NVMe SSD. And that's about it. Uh, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger again showing you how to install the Western Digital PCIe Gen 3 by 4 NVMe SSD. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.